This is a quick video to show you how I made this little Robin Christmas card. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, so, yep, this is this time of year where I send my family um, personalised Christmas cards that I've made just to show them uh, that I thought about them and took time to make these cards. So this is my like a my little gift from me uh, to my closest family and friends. And I used three different techniques to make this color graph, just really just trying to see which one works best. I used chincolé uh, in this one, okay? Um, so um, this is just using a black ink uh, with a chincolé add-on. And I tried to do it without a press. It's a little bit faint, uh, but I think it's doable if you just need to press it probably a little bit harder and maybe the image is a little bit fainter but i think it sort of looks pretty cool um so it is possible to do integrity without press um and this one i did just using standard intaglio technique and one um i just printed it once and i just used a black um ink and i painted on those two remaining colors so three different ways of doing it um you know you can use less ink you can use no press or you use more inks and you use press so really it's down to you how quickly if you want to churn out loads of cards probably the simplest methods is the best uh but yeah so it, it's really little card um not very big um and the color graph in itself was really tiny i think i've got a it's this size but it's really good fun and i bought these cards already pre-made with um lovely um envelopes from intaglio printmakers um it's got printmaking paper on it which is brilliant and this embossing, as you can see against the light, looks lovely. And I just put my little signature on it. And also, as a gift to you, uh, for all my subscribers, thank you so much. I'm going to give these two of these cards away. So um, if you make, for the first two people who make a comment to say they wish to have one of them, I will post you one of these cards wherever you are, however far you are from England, um, to say thank you. Um, enjoy the video. So here I'm uh, starting to work on a plate and as you can see I'm just um, scratching out with a dry point needle and cutting bits out with a scalpel. To add uh, a bit more texture, I'm going to add matte acrylic medium and some gesso. And matte acrylic medium um, is there really for mid tones, so it, the ink won't just wipe off clean like it would from pure card. So it's just there to trap a bit more ink um, and add a mid tone. And this is get, I'm applying gesso here with. Uh, a paintbrush as well and that is there to well similar job to acrylic matte medium but at the same time it can get even more texture because it's th it's thicker and also it, it traps even more ink so um, 
it's a great way to getting more tones and more interesting points in the color graph. And to finish off, I'm going to add a bit of wood glue. What wood glue does is makes the surface really shiny and the, way, the ink wipes off really easily from it. So just on top of all the bits I did with my matte media and gesso, I'm just adding a bit of glue just to vary the texture of these two areas. Of course, after it's all dry, I'm just applying some see-through shellac to seal the plate. And I'm using here uh, a black dry point ink and I just got apply it quickly with um, a paintbrush and then wipe it off with a bit of newspaper and, and, and some scrim towards the end. But really because it's such a small plate I can just use a newspaper. It wipes off pretty well and as you can see all the different tones are starting to come through. And what I wanted to do with the first print is to demonstrate that you can print without a press. So even though it's an intaglio print, I'm just, this is a card that I'm using. I'm just wetting it slightly with um, water. And then I'm going to apply chincolé. I'm just using Pritt stick glue, nothing too complicated. And I'm just placing it glue up on top of the bird. And the card will go on top. And here, as you can see, I am just putting a bit of newsprint on top and pressing it down as hard as I can with a wooden roller. And okay, the result is quite faint. It's not what I, I would have probably preferred to see more detail, but just to show you it is possible. So perhaps if I went over it twice or a little bit harder with a softer brush, it would have worked better. Anyway, so this is the second one that I did. I've inked up this time using a press. So this is my template card, just so I put the bird in the right place. And again, using chincolé like before. But this time I'm going to use the press because I want to see a bit more detail of my design. So here we go, running for the press. And uh, it got stuck to the card, but it doesn't matter. So it's, it's all right. So yeah, he, it, it, it's got a little bit more detail, so probably better for this purpose um, but again the first one looked pretty cool as well and this is the third print I did this time instead of chincolé I actually just painted the ink on top of the robin um, just literally painted with a paintbrush um, so just to show you uh, this is my third print or rather fourth lost account sorry um so here's here's what i did i just literally painted on the ink uh i uh, well the uh, normally what you would do is you would dub a scrim on top of it but i wanted it to have a more painterly feel uh on the robin so it's like a mono almost like a mono print on top of the um color graph um so just putting a bit of red and then I add a bit of blue. I've, I've, I mixed blue with a bit of zinc white just to make a little suggestion of like a blue tinge or on, on the robin's coat. Um, yeah, and there we go. So I've put the robin in exactly the same place. I've left the same newsprint on top of the press and putting the card in on the same place, place as before and run it through the press and here we go I think it looks quite cool got a little bit stuck but yeah I think it works nicely I think I prefer it from Chincolet actually 
Um, I hope you like the robins and I hope two of you will go out to use wherever you are in the world. Thank you for watching.